good morning. We're in Limerick, Ireland. As you can tell, it's a beautiful Irish day. I've checked the forecast. There's no sun forecast for the next three years here. And we're just have a wet day. I'm on a two-day layover, and I'm going to head off to Adair, which is a nice historic town about 16 kilometers away from Limerick. So it's the Shannon here looking up to the Gothic castle, the medieval castle and the Gothic church, actually. You can't see it. So uh, off we go. It's going to be a wet day. We left Limerick a couple hours ago on the bus and it was raining sheep and cows, but now it's dried up and just a lot of clouds. So hopefully it'll stay dry for me today. And we're in Adair, which is a very historical town and declared the tidiest village in 1976 in Ireland. And then they got a bronze in 2000 for the tidiest city. And it's pretty clean, pretty nice, and you'll see some of the other pictures and movies that I take. Off to my right is the Desmond Castle from the 1200 in ruins now, so it was pretty spectacular in itself, right? And then off to my left here is the St. Augustine, yeah, Augustinian Priory, and it dates back to the 1300. It's now a school, as you can tell, with all the kids playing out there. So, a lot of old things here, but uh, pretty nice, and a lot of thatched roof houses, and people are certainly nice as well. We're at the Church of St. Nicholas and the Chantry Chapel. I think this is the church. This is one of the creepiest places ever. If you could just hear the crows that are constantly coming about, just kind of etching their way out of some of the stone walls here. And the graves, one's overturned up over here. All these bring early 1800s. There's a few 1700s in here. Uh, sadly, this place is in complete despair. There's lots of stingweed and bugs and gnats uh, and things crawling around. And amazing, these stone walls have kept up here all these years. So I'm going to guess the church is probably from the 1700s. Not much information on it. Definitely a Protestant basis off of the numerous crosses that I've seen. Here's the uh, 18... Let's see, 1821, the Wyndham Quinn fa family, uh, this one here, another one that's in big despair, this one I believe is, looks like 18, 1859, it's pretty amazing, also it's way before the Civil War even, and you can see back on the other side here is the other chapel, that's the real creepy one, that's got all the big crows coming out of it, it's in the middle of a golf course actually, Kind of cool to get around to this place. I don't know how they can just kind of own this, but they're not keeping this up as much as they are their greens. I think an excellent opportunity to take some crew here during a Halloween adventure. That'd be a lot of fun. I wanted to show this particular gravestone. This is 1827. But look at this. Look how this tree has grown up and around this gravestone here. That's simply amazing. And then back in the background here, you can see the chapel and then the graveyard following onto the golf course.